welcome to this new tutorial on EMGU CV. Today I am going to show you how we can do image blending and then I'll create a slideshow effect using EMGU CV. So let's get started. I have already created a project and configured it to use EMGU CV 3.3. If you don't know how to configure it, you can check one of my previous videos. Let me add a new form. Right click on the project go to add and then click on windows form you can give an any name to it and then click add let me create a simple uh, user interface i need few controls and i need to show the toolbox which you can show it from view menu drag and drop two picture boxes to blend and to show two images and a menu bar file and then we will say open images so that the user once he clicks it will be able to select two uh, images to blend them together the picture boxes will display the input images selected by the user let me readjust these picture boxes and resize them so that we can see the displayed image. I may also need to uh, display a numeric bar where I can display the amount of blending that is required for two images. So let me drag and drop a numeric and let me set the values the minimum should be zero and the maximum is one and i just want to step uh, by point zero point one and also the you have to make sure that it is a double and change it to point one now go to file double click on this open image the first thing that i need to do is to include this EMGU CV into my project. You can do it by using EMGU.CV and using EMGU.CV.structure. And then I will create two objects, one for holding the image and the other is also for holding the other image so that I need to blend these two. I just name it IMG input one and just use the magic of control c and control v and set it the name of the other one to img input 2. And open file dialog and i'll ask the user to uh, select the files and since i'm going to select multiple files so i'm going to set the property multi select equals true and also uh, optionally i will provide a filter so that i'll be able to select only images and uh, the format of the filter is like first we need to provide the description that i want to select images dot jpg and a dot png and then you need to put a vertical bar to uh, provide the pattern that is dot jpg semicolon and star dot png now we can use an if statement first i'll show the dialog and then if the user selects files then the dialog result will be okay once the user selects the files there is two images now we will read the names of the images that have been selected by the user and assign it to an array of strings so i'll be using ofd dot file not file name it should be file names if we have one file we will use file name now we have multiple so file names will be used now if we have files selected by the user we need to make sure that the user has selected at least two files although i am going to blend two images so if these are not two images or more than two we can display a message to the user and then return from here we don't need to do anything until and unless he does not select two or more images 
now once we have two images selected by the user we can read them into img input 1 and img input 2 so img input 1 equals new create an object for it and inside it pass the name of the file that has been selected and we put it in the file name array so the first file will be read into img input 1 copy and paste and then similarly we can read the second file present in the file names array once we read it we can display these images into picture box 1 and a picture box 2 so picture box 1 dot image equals to img input 1 dot bitmap similarly control c control v we can do display in the picture box 2 and change this img input 2 dot bitmap so double click on image blend and this event in this event we are going to blend these two images the first thing that we need to define the alpha that is how much we want the blending from two images and we have used a numeric up down control so we will get the values from that and since this is the numeric up down control and since it is returning a decimal so we need to convert it into double I will use an explicit double expression to convert it into double. So image one dot add weighted to blend the image uh, IMG input image one with IMG input image two. So you can see the formula for image blending. We need to provide the image two that is IMG input two. You can see the formula that with image 1 it is multiplied with alpha and image 2 is multiplied with the beta and the gamma here we will provide 0 we no need and we don't need to do it so the next will be the alpha and the uh, beta will be 1 minus alpha that the remaining percentage of the pixel value that we want from the second image and then 0 for the gamma and that's it since we want to display this blended image and I'll display this one in picture box 2 so I'll say picture box 2 dot image equals to the result that we have obtained and since it is expecting a bitmap so I'll convert it into a bitmap so that is it we have done the blending of two images that is image 1 into image 2 let us run this application and see the results file open an image rather two images if we select only one image it should display us a message that we have to select two images that's okay so let me go and select two images so these two first two images or any of these two images open and so you can see these two images and we define 0.5 and when we do uh, image blending 50% will be selected from so you can see that both images can be seen in one uh, image in picture box too and if we increase it and blend it again so it will give more weightage to the left image that is the first image and uh, we can see that it is more dominant uh, in it and if we make it to full it means the second image will be multiplied by zero so that no weightage is given so if we reduce it as you can see the second image is more dominant that is 80% uh, of the pixel value selected from the second and 20% from the first so let's go and how we can use this concept to create a simple uh, slide image effect so let me add a menu item here in a college slide show and it double click on that what I want to do is I want to select images from a folder and for convenience I have made all the, those images of the same width and height and we will use the same aid weighted method to generate this slideshow effect so let's see how we can do that so first let me create an object for folder browser dialog 
SDB and create an object of course uh, folder browser dialog and I need to check that first I will show this folder browser dialog to the user and if he selects some folder then it will result me dialog below that okay I just need to read all of the file names from that folder that are those the images and read them into a, a string of array since directory class is in namespace system.io so I need to add it into my project and I'll use the get files method of directory class and I need to pass the path of the folder selected by the user to get all of the files inside that folder however I only need the files with .jpg extension so I'll provide star.jpg it means I'll select only the files which have the extension .jpg I'll create a list to contain the images so I'll create a list of images of BGR and def byte and uh, we can name it like list images equals new list so since I don't have one image rather I have multiple images so I want to read the images and put it into the list object and now I need to loop through all the images that have been that uh, have been selected by the user that is the file names and read one by one into my list so list images dot add add method is used to add the images and I'll create a new object and then I'll read these files on this path that is the first file and then second and third it will create once we load the images into the list we can loop through these images and remember we need to go into this dot length minus two the reason is that we need to perform binary operation so an operation will involve two images so we do not need to go till list images dot count and inside it now I'll be doing what I will define the alpha the alpha is going from let's say 0, 0.0 and it alpha is less than 1 since we know this as already we have defined and next we we need an increment of let's say point 1 then I will use this add weighted method to blend these two images and what I need to do in the list images I want to add the image at i plus 1 and apply the add weighted method and I want to blend it with the previous image on i index and alpha that has been selected now that will be part of next image and then 1 minus alpha for the image previous image and we our our gamma is 0 and now I want to display this edit uh, image in picture box 2 so I'll do picture box 2 dot image equals to this and since it requires a bitmap so I need to convert it into a bitmap also I just want to see is so this will go the for loop will go from 1 to n minus 1 images and then the previous uh, the next image will be blended with the previous image using the alpha alpha is going from 0 to 1 with an increment of 0 0.1 so this list image contains all the images and i plus 1 means next image and i image means the previous image the alpha is basically representing how much we want to select from previous image and how much from the second image and since we want to display it in the GUI while running the loop so I will use this async and wait method just to delay it and I will allow the user interface to be updated 
so let me say the task that delay for 25 milliseconds so so let's run the application and check it so let's open this application show it and select the slides and then so <laughs> it is showing a slide effect but it is very fast so let me slow it down by changing the alpha from 0 to 0 0.01 and let's run it file slide show and select the folder and now you can see a very smooth effect of the slideshow and it looks like a very smooth slideshow so that's how we can perform the slideshow using EMG UCV and I hope you enjoyed the videos and hope to see you in the next video